Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and the Secret YouTuber on TikTok. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the green room with the TikTok app only. I give you just the facts. Let's jump into the video. Using the green room is going to be one of the easiest things that you can do on TikTok, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, choose your plus. Make sure your camera is where you want it to be. Then check your effects and go to your green screen. Choose photo. You can use the photo that is there or you can upload any photo that you choose. Whatever your mind can think about. Any faraway places that you wanted to go. You could go to the tallest mountain. You could go to the London Bridge. You could go to the Eiffel Tower. Any place that you set your mind to go, you can put yourself in that picture. Once you have your photo, you squeeze yourself down. You want to place yourself in the picture where you want to be. And then once you run your picture, you can check it out. You can walk backwards and you can see where are you going to appear in the picture. So once you have situated yourself, once you are, are once you put yourself in the picture, you can see me waving then you can set a marker on the floor where you, where you are going to be standing. You don't move your camera. So this is an example. Here I am standing here. And I can also stand here like this, or I can pose like that, or I can pose like that, or up like this, or over like this, but you have to stay in the camera view. Okay, so that was a bigger picture. Now, if you wanted to make yourself smaller, that would mean you have to go back further. I, I'm still in the picture. You can, I can still see myself in the picture. Here I am waving. And here you can pose any way that you want on the side. Any way that you want to pose, you can pose. And also when you are recording, you can also walk or trip, kind of. Okay, so now that I got my spot where I want to be, now I'm going to choose the timer. And I want to give myself I want a countdown of 10 seconds. So I'm gonna give a 10 second countdown. So you'll see 10, this will give you an opportunity to move where you want to be, to get situated where you want to be. And then you can simply do what you, you want. You know, you can pretend you're dancing to music or walking across or, or almost falling over or whatever you're doing. And then you can simply... So you can do that. <laughs> okay, so that is an easy way for you to use the screen, the the uh, the green screen. Then, when you're done, you can add, of course, your hashtags. You can use different effects: visual, the effects, transition, split, or time. You can use any effect simply by choosing the effect and pressing down on it. This will put the effect on your video to the place where you would like to see it. To delete the effect, just use the backward arrow. If you don't get it the first time, you can always use this X here, and this will discard your last clip. And then you can try over again. Add a trending sound. Add edit set duration for your text choose different fonts choose different highlight colors you can set a duration simply by using these two sliding bars here and your text must be seen for at least one second and you can move you can add stickers gifs and emojis simply by typing into the search bar and tapping on 
the one that you would like to see appear on your canvas. When you are done doing your recording, adding your text, any effects, your sounds, your stickers, then you click next. Click next. You will add a description with your hashtags and also make sure that you do have your for you page. To add your hashtags, you will just click on the hashtag and start typing and see which hashtags come up. So use a hashtag that has a lot of views that TikTok knows so that it can be pushed out into the algorithm. And then in your settings, you can then allow comments, allow a duet, allow a stitch if you choose, and then post. Get to select your cover and try to get a cover that has a lot of movement in it so that it gets a person's attention. This is what you call a pattern interrupt. Add a call to action button and choose save. Now you are ready to either post or send it to your drafts. When you post, you will also share to Instagram if you have set up your profile to be integrated with Instagram and Facebook. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave them in, uh, leave your questions in the comments. Don't forget to follow me at my YouTube channel, the DIY Affiliate, and also on TikTok at the Secret YouTuber. I look forward to hanging out with you in the next video. Stay safe.